The PIC board met to discuss the future of PIC CEO Dan Machila. He was expected to answer allegations made to the board that he used funds reserved for corporate social investment for a business belonging to a girlfriend. He also allegedly raised salaries of executives irregularly. The CEO could face a forensic inquiry. Media reports say the Gupta family is pushing to replace Majila with former ESCOM CEO Brian Molife. Our members, for instance, you know, believe these allegations are fabricated. Uh, it's fabricated to be part of a ploy where the Guptas would come and throw mud at the chief executive officer and then the board will say, look, you know, let us suspend you on full pay and then you stay on one side and then their person would come in. The PIC, which handles the pension funds for state employees, has assets worth almost two trillion rand. SAA has attempted to borrow money from the PIC, but it failed to meet the necessary criteria. Business Leadership South Africa says government has a history of selling good assets to fund non-performing state-owned enterprises. This PIC story needs to be understood in the context of a captured state in the context of why it is useful to get your hands on the 1.8 trillion of the PIC, understood in the context of how historically we have sold good assets, the golden goose that lays the golden eggs. Fedusa says it will be meeting with the PIC over the weekend to discuss the allegations further. Now Lady Matlabeng, SABC News, Johannesburg.